Hey, 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 what's going on guys? It's your boy Herder of Buffalo bringing you my first gameplay commentary of 2012. Happy New Year to everybody now. It is now the time where everyone is in the new year and this could be a real good year for many different reasons. Obviously, you guys know that I am from the UK, so we do have the London 2012 Olympics in 2012, which even though I'm not going to them, I'm pretty excited about this, you know, it's, 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 good, it's a good thing. The Olympics is always exciting, where even when you watch it on TV and the likes of Beijing and Athens, the ones that you know I remember because I'm only 17, they're the ones I've actually really taken note of. So I'm really looking forward to the Olympics. Should be beast. What else is going on in 2012? Well, obviously I'm in my last year of sixth form, so I'm doing my A-levels and this is my last year now. So, you know, school is going to be pretty tough work. And, you know, I'm just going to be making the most of these last three, four days that I've got off before I go back to school so you know I thought I'd bring you a commentary early this morning it's about 10 o'clock and you know I was just excited to get on the game and just get on with it today because that's what I want to do but anyway about this gameplay I was on Bakara it was a domination game and we just got right from the offset a dirty spawn trap on C I started off this game you know I was just a bit, a bit worthless really <laughs> you know that's my word worthless and you know I was just running into traffic that you know I wouldn't usually run into but eventually this turned into a very solid gameplay and you know that is the sort of thing that I am starting to do a lot more now I'm starting to every time I take a death restart as if it's the beginning of the game again because you know you have to get your streaks and you know when you get your streaks then your game is on course so I realized that in order to get good gameplays if I'm using the assault kill streaks or the support kill streaks, I've got to really fight for those kills. So, you know, just maybe just sitting back slightly instead of just rushing into the spawn and being shot from all angles isn't the way to start a game. If if you've got, got your streaks up, and say, for example, using a pavlo or a strafe run, things where you don't really need to go out of the game, such as a Reaper or an AC-130, if you are using those pavlos, the overwatches, the strafe runs, then, you know, that that's probably then when you want to start running around. Try to build up your streaks again quickly because obviously the enemy's aware of the air support in the air. So, you know, the, their focus is going to be on avoiding that as well as, you know, going for you. So I think that's a really good thing about this game. But anyway, this spot here is where I pretty much set up shop for the rest of the game. This building with the spawn trap at sea, you know, these guys won't go in anywhere. My teammates weren't going to possess the sea flag. We were just sitting in and around that sea spawn. And, you know, the enemy couldn't go anywhere. There's a couple of them just out stray by A, but, I mean, what, what can you do? This isn't demolition. There isn't a set spawn rotor where, you know, they're always going to spawn in the same spot. It's just an area in which they can spawn in. But, um, you can see here we triple cap. However, you know, they still spawn around the C area, so they're going to be capping C back real soon. But, um, yeah, I'm in my Reaper now, which, again... I'm still torn between the Reaper and Strafe Run at the moment. It's something that I just can't get my head around. I just don't know the answer to it. But as you can see, even on a bad map in terms of, you know, open space such as Pakara, the Reaper's still doing work. And obviously now we see them trying to repossess the sea flag. It probably would have been more sensible for me to leave them to actually just get that flag instead of just bombarding them with bullets out of my Reaper. And then I call in the Pavlo. Pavlo... You know, I'm an AC-130 guy. The angel of death is the way that I like to go usually. But, you know, I've started to use the Pavlo because I, I like the feeling of an assault, the assault map. Just going, staying in the game, being able to get kills with your gun whilst you're, whilst the Pavlo does work. Because, let's be honest, the Pavlo does do work. On Modern Warfare 2, we had the 9 kill streak Pavlo. Even that was, you know, that was a top draw kill streak as well. But I think this Pavlo on Modern Warfare 3 is even better. If the guys on the other team aren't aware of how to use a stinger or anything like that, you know, the Pavlo is going to do work. You know, the, you can't avoid the stingers, but, you know, the Pavlo, it, it can take three, two stinger bullets, and then the final one is when it gets shot down. So you have to shoot a stinger down three times to get this Pavlo. And, um, yeah, I watched a video this morning which really interested me, actually, which was from Woody's Game Attack about shooting down kill streaks on this game. You know, uh, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops, we couldn't really use the gun to shoot to shoot air support down, but 
Like COD 4, Modern Warfare 3 has brought back the idea of being able to shoot down air support with your gun. So, you know guys, that's one that's one thing I can say today is just try out if you if you're not using the stinger and you do come across other teams who are calling in air support such as the attack helis, overwatches, payloads, just, just try shooting it down with your gun. It, it doesn't take an awful lot. Uh Woody seemed to showcase the FMGs and for most things just two 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 clips of the FMG uh, and it's down. So, you know, what what more what more can you ask for really it's pretty simple and straightforward and I think if other people realized that this was how simple it is to shoot down air support then you know we wouldn't be seeing the air support beast as much as it is at the moment like you know there's pave lows and well obviously the reaper's more difficult to shut down because it's a smaller target but like things like the pave low and the, the straight front they're, they're getting many a lot of kills and you know if if we realized that, that we could shoot these down more easily then I, d I don't think they'd be as good and I think things like the AC-130 and, and the Reaper will be used even more than they already are. But, as we can see here, this is where it starts to really get dirty on the sea. My teammates, look at that, perfect positioning. In the middle of this building, we've got a lot of cover. And, you know, these guys are going to spawn in front of us, so there's not really a lot they can do about it. So just keep, this is one thing I have to say about this map. If you get the A and B flags in a domination game, the spawn trap at sea is unbelievable and this spot here is probably my favorite I mean this game would have been a Moab gameplay as well but you know I just got unlucky at the end I just get shot from behind when I try to knife someone because you know I was panicking I always panic on the Moab but um yeah so this is what I advise you to do on this map and you know I've run out of bullets by now and I've just picked up this ACOG and you know <laughs> the ACOG on the sniper rifles it is useless. I think it just ruins the whole idea of sniping on this game. Uh, that Domino Effect posted a brilliant video on the best ways to snipe and you know how to be how to snipe effectively and you know that's actually taught me a lot about you know the best ways to get the most out of a sniper rifle and you know to use it properly as well so you know I'm trying not to pick up the ACOG guns and that was the death there because you know I think it just ruins the whole idea of a sniper gameplay but um yeah guys I've been trying to bring some sniper gameplay in uh, I'm using the MSR a lot at the moment just trying to get some games with it just to showcase more of the sniper rifles in my videos because you know I think using the assault rifles all the time is fair enough you know it's it's simple it's it's easy but I don't really think you guys want to be seeing the buffalo uploading assault rifle gameplay every single game so you know I'm gonna try to bring a bit more to it now maybe some shotgun gameplay Maybe a bit of sniper gameplay as well, but you know, we'll see how it goes. I'm not really used to using those sort of guns. I am more of a submachine gun assault rifle kind of player. But you know, if I want to be successful in this YouTube thing, I've got to bring a bit more to it. So I'm going for it, guys. I'm really trying. Um, just want to say, if you could all check out my bootleg kill confirmed, uh, that seems to be slacking behind all the other videos at the moment. So if you guys want to check that out, it's just basically some smart ways to play that map. But anyway, guys. This is 2012, and this is Buffalo's first video. So if you enjoyed it, and you found it useful uh, as to how to play Domination on this map, then please hit the like and subscribe. And, you know, just, just tell your friends about the channel as well, if you like it as well, because obviously, try to build up a nice little fan base, and you guys are the ones who are going to make it. So, anyway, guys, this is the end of the game. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.